Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my Week 6 NFL recaps and analysis. This video is for the game between the New York Jets and the Pittsburgh Steelers. A game the Steelers won 16-6 to uh, to run their record to 1-4. They get their first win of the year. The Jets' loss drops them to 3-3. Three and three. And for Roethlisberger, you know, it was a 23 for 30 day. Threw for over 200, a little over 260 yards. Uh, the only touchdown of the game was a Roethlisberger 55-yard touchdown pass. And, you know, other than that, five field goals total in the game. It was 9-6 at halftime. You know, Roethlisberger connects on that 55-yard touchdown pass in the second half. And that's really all this Pittsburgh defense needed. They forced two Geno Smith turnovers, two interceptions to be more specific, uh, in the red zone. The Jets could never really get anything going. They were overly conservative in the first half, which is if you watch the Jets, Morningweg's been letting Geno Smith air it out a little bit. Thought maybe being a little too cautious against that Dick LeBeau defense in the first half. They just never got into a rhythm. Uh, I think you saw from a Jets perspective that missing Callan Winslow and Santonio San Holmes sort of caught up to them today. Uh, this is not a team that's good enough to go deep on the depth chart to try to get playmakers. And, uh, you know, give Pittsburgh credit. They went after Antonio Cromartie, who was a little, came into this game a little bit banged up. He hyperextended his knee later in the week. He played. And if you look at the 55-yard touchdown pass, was right over Cromartie. Um, and the 25, he had a, Cromartie also had a big 25-yard pass interference play in this game as well. A penalty uh, called on him. And overall, you know, the Steelers uh, running the ball was okay. Roethlisberger, again, very efficient uh, with, uh, with that long pass. Their defense, I thought, uh, did a pretty good job as far as confusing Geno on a lot of, on a lot of occasions. And um, look, I think the this, this Steelers came in desperate. They played with a lot of energy. Uh, this was not an overly impressive performance by the Steelers. But look, when you hold a team without a touchdown, okay, and your quarterback uh, doesn't turn the ball over, look, you have a very good chance to win in the NFL, and that's exactly what we saw today in this game. Uh, heading forward here, the Jets have a very tough stretch now. They go, they go, uh, New England, Cincinnati, New Orleans, and uh, Baltimore will play division rival Pittsburgh next week as both these teams uh, move forward here. Um, you know, Pittsburgh already having their bye. The Jets having their bye here uh, in a couple weeks. Guys, let me know what you thought of this game. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at SNewsAnalysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview and recap every game every week, and I'm always talking news of the day in the NFL. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.